This week in maths, we looked at uh, time. We um, went over using AM and PM notation. Then we moved on to telling the time accurately using 24 hour time and converting between 24 hour time back to AM or PM notation and vice versa. The main thing to remember and keep in mind when converting, say, from 24 hour time to 12 hour time is that if the number is above 12, for example 1300, all you do is subtract 12. By subtracting 12 you bring it back to 1 o'clock, which will be 1 o'clock p.m. If that 24 hour time reads after 12, such as 12, 13, 14, right through to 23, then you subtract 12 and you'll get a p.m. time. In addition to this, we looked at determining the duration of events using starting and finishing times and calculating elapsed time. Also, we this week played with some stopwatches to measure and compare the duration of events. This term in HSIE, we're looking at uh, rainforests. Specifically this week we looked at people in rainforests. Uh, we asked the questions, how are rainforests used? What is the human impact? We identified the ways in which this occurs and how humans have used rainforests to make particular products. We also constructed a list of all the ways that rainforests in our world are being destroyed. And then we looked at questions such as, what are the benefits of our rainforests to the global community? Whilst looking at uh, people of the rainforest, we looked at the particular people in our world, our indigenous populations who've been affected by the mass uh, deforestation, uh, the destroying of rainforests. And we looked at an example in the Amazonian tribes that have faced annihilation. In the subject of religion uh, over the last week, we've been looking at um, injustice. Uh, firstly, we started by looking at what the word injustice actually means. And then we came up with some examples as a class. We watched a short DVD um, on the organisation, the Catholic organisation that is Caritas Australia, um, where they focused on the um, some troubled communities in Cambodia, looking at the work that uh, Caritas does over there. This week in religion, we also discussed the Feast of the Sacred Heart and the traditions, the Catholic traditions that are associated with it. The Feast of the Sacred Heart is basically a reminder for us to reach out to those who are in need. This week we continued on with our exposition writing and specifically this week we looked at uh, language of opinion. We looked at lots of examples of um, persuasive language that can be used when writing an exposition and we continued to practice writing our own expositions. As a class each member wrote an exposition on whether they think Ned Kelly is a hero or a villain, backing up their reasoning. This week, to uh, practice our exposition writing, we also completed an exposition on who the greatest superhero of all time is. To finish up, I'll just go over very quickly the structure of an exposition. After we've written the title, our exposition needs a statement of position. Now, this is the first paragraph where we state what the issue or the topic is and what we think about it. From here, we move on to our series of arguments. This is a series of points with supporting evidence, and each argument needs to be in a separate paragraph. Usually these arguments are listed from the most important to the least important. The last paragraph is our summary, it's our conclusion, and it's where we strongly repeat what we believe with a summary of the reasons why.